Cue Beyonce. <laughs> Most photographers advertise boudoir sessions as a gift for your loved one, but I really feel that's just due to a lack of creativity. Yes, I think you should do a boudoir shoot for someone you love, but I think the first person you should consider is yourself because you should do it because you love you, and I'm going to share some of those reasons why. Hello, my name is Mike Lloyd. I have been a professional photographer for 12 years, specializing in boudoir for seven of those. And I'm having a spooky glass of whiskey while we do this because the first time I recorded this video, I deleted the memory card before I uploaded it. And the second time, the microphone wasn't plugged in, so we had no audio. So cheers to round three. That's so good. And uh, let's dive in. So I had no idea what boudoir was really about when I got into it. I did not want to shoot boudoir when I started. I was a professional photographer for five years before I ever shot boudoir. And I didn't want to do it because I don't want to take sexy photos. Like that did nothing for me as a creative. And I just... I don't know. I don't want to be like that dude with a camera that just took pictures of girls in their underwear. I had no idea what this was about. And then enough of my lady friends asked me if I would do photo shoots for them. And I did. And it just blew up. And in 2015, I shut down my business. I rebranded, reopened under a new name, and I've been specializing in this ever since. And it's been freaking amazing. And I can't imagine doing anything else now because I learned what boudoir shoots are really all about. And it's not taking sexy photos for your partner. So I wrote a blog post and I was going to do three reasons why you should do a boudoir shoot. And I was thinking about why my own clients did them. And I did research online. I read blogs from bloggers and other people who had shared their experiences doing boudoir sessions. And I learned why people are really doing these shoots and it totally changed my world. So I ended up doing 13 reasons why you should do a boudoir session. And I got that link posted down below. You can go read that as well. I could have gone to like 33 reasons, but I decided to cap it at 13 because, well, that's a neat number. And also I didn't want to write a short book. I kind of want to have a book published one day, but probably not about that. Maybe about that. Anywho, so I'm going to give you four of those reasons today, and then you can go check out the other nine in my blog post. So firstly, fitness gains. Number two, healing from trauma. Number three, because you'll never be this young again, and stay with me on that one. It's probably not what you think. And number four, because it's Tuesday. Fun fact, today is actually Tuesday when I'm recording this. And then number five is going to be your homework to go read that blog post down below. All right. So one of the reasons a lot of my clients do boudoir sessions is because of their fitness gains. Now, not everybody is a bodybuilder. Not everyone is a size zero. Not everybody wants to be. And that doesn't mean that that's healthy for everyone. Also, because size does not necessarily relate to how healthy you are, nor your sense of worth. So what I mean by that is some of my clients have had bariatric surgery and they've lost 150 pounds and they still have another 100 to go, but they're so stoked that they're down 150 pounds. They want to celebrate this new body that they've worked so hard and they've sacrificed so much for. And I am so honored to get to celebrate that with them because most people think I still have 100 pounds to lose. I'm not going to do a shoot yet. But on the flip side, I've lost 150 pounds. That's incredible. I'm on my way to this new healthier me and I'm so stoked for that. And I just, again, I'm so honored to be a part of that journey with my clients. And I have other ones who have, you know, they've had three children and these women have lost the weight and they're back down to their size before they had children. And that's incredible. I've had women with eating disorders who have gained weight and are now healthy for the first time in a long time. And this is an opportunity to celebrate that. So it's not just about losing weight. It's about being healthy. It's about feeling good in your skin. It's about having ownership of your body and being proud of who you are. Now, you can still want to get in better shape. You can still want to work on things, but it doesn't mean that you're bad because of where you are now. And that is worth celebrating. Number two, healing from trauma. Now, when people ask what I do for a living, I don't say I'm a photographer. I say I'm a therapist with a camera. Now, I'm not a licensed therapist. I'm not board certified. I perform a therapeutic service. And it's really a good conversation starter. But it, it really sums up what I do. And honestly, I hate that there's a need for this. I do. But I'm so grateful that there are photographers out there like me who are able to offer this service. And I have clients who have come out of 20 years of an abusive marriage where they've been physically and emotionally abused for so long that 
They don't know what it's like to make decisions for themselves. They don't know what it's like to feel pretty or to accept that they are good enough or that they are worthy of love from anyone, especially from themselves. And again, I hate that that's a thing. I wish it wasn't, but I'm I'm grateful that I have an opportunity to make a difference in my clients' lives because we provide a space here that is safe and that is comfortable for my clients to come in. And with the boudoir sessions, it's not about taking sexy photos. It's about dropping your armor, whatever that may be. And you can wear anything you want. We do shoots like fully clothed in fuzzy pajamas and formal evening wear uh, in sports jerseys, lingerie, whatever. It makes zero difference. It's about taking off your armor. It's about being vulnerable and saying, I am who I am. And that's already perfect. That's already good enough. That's already great. Yes, I can improve. I can work on things. I can do whatever else I want with myself. But right now I'm already good enough. And that is worth celebrating. That's freaking incredible. So being able to come in here and get hair and makeup done and look in the mirror and say, I feel pretty for the first time in 20 years. And seeing that transformation happen in that three hour window when my clients are here. I mean, that's that's everything. I can't tell you how many times my clients end up crying and we end up crying and everyone's hugging it out at the end. And I get invited to like holiday parties and kids' birthday parties. And I get Halloween cards from my clients because I love how my house is Halloween all year round. It's kind of my thing. Halloween and tacos. So we build that relationship because this is such a powerful experience that, that my clients get to go through. And I had no idea what I was getting into, but I'm so grateful that we're here and able to offer that. So it's a way to take ownership of your body, of your decisions, and feel good in your skin again. And that is worth celebrating. All right, number three, you're only this young once. This one came about because when I first started doing boudoir seven years ago, somebody jokingly said, you should run an ad campaign that says, do a boudoir shoot because you'll never be this young and hot again. And my first thought was like, well, no, because that's rude. Yes, we'll never be this young again, but I refuse to believe that we'll ever peak in, in any sense, right? Sure, I'm never going to be 21 again. I played on the football team. I felt like I was in pretty good shape, but honestly, I'm in better shape now, and I'm proud of that. And who knows where I'll be later on. And regardless of like physical activity, I refuse to believe that we ever peak. We're always developing, evolving. We're always learning. We have new experiences, new wisdom, new things that we go through that help us develop into who we are going to become. And that's amazing. My eyes are like moving around the room because I just saw a mosquito fly by. Mosquitoes love me. I'm delicious. So as soon as I see one in the room, I'm going to do my best to keep focusing on this video and not feel them crawl all over me now. I refuse to believe that we're ever going to peak. We're only going to continue evolving and getting better in a different way. So... That's why I think it's special to do a photo shoot. And I have clients who come in on their 30th, 40th, 50th, 60th birthdays. I had a 75-year-old woman come in a few weeks ago and do an incredible shoot. She does wilderness survival training where she goes out in the woods with this group of people and they build shelters and start fires from scratch and live in nature eating nature for for a few days like I'm an eagle scout I grew up doing that kind of stuff but to discover that at 75 that's amazing so I find it hard to believe that she had peaked before she had hit that point because that's pretty gosh darn cool so that's the whole thing it's like yes I'm never gonna be this young again right and what's the saying I've I've never been as old as I am now but I'll never be as young again I love that because we're always growing we're always evolving we're always changing and Every one of those milestones is worth documenting. It doesn't have to be a wedding. It doesn't have to be literally anything else. It can just be that I've gone through 30 years of this. I've gone through 40 years of this life, and here's where I am, you know? Not everybody makes it to 40. Not everyone makes it to 50. And just that alone is worth celebrating. All right, reason number four is... Because it's Tuesday. I mean, it is Tuesday today, but like, it's a figure of speech. You don't need a special occasion to do something kind for yourself. That's it. You don't need to be getting married. You don't need to have a milestone birthday. You don't need to have lost 150 pounds. We do spa days. We go on a wine tasting trip. Girls night out. Guys night out. We go get a massage. We get our nails done. We we do these things for ourselves as a form of self-care. We go to yoga retreats. There are a ton of things that we do for ourselves that don't require a special occasion. This can 
absolutely be one of those. The special occasion could be, I'm going to do a boudoir shoot and feel good in my skin. That can be the special occasion. It's very meta. The special occasion is the special occasion. So you don't need one of those. You can just do it to be kind to yourself. And that is worth celebrating. I also didn't realize that was going to be the catchphrase of this episode. And that is worth celebrating. So I got nine more reasons about why you should do a boudoir session. And I got that linked down below. So go check that out. And if you're like, Mike, that sounds amazing. But how do I find a photographer? Well, I got a video for that. And if you'd like to work with me, I would love to meet you. You can find me at MikeLoydStudios.com. You are amazing. We'll see you inside. 